Entertainment with NZTV 45 and NC Radio 450. It's Butts Flowers in downtown Newcastle for fine gifts and more. It's Flowers, 120 East Washington Street, Newcastle, with a wide variety of flowers for any occasion. Call Butts Flowers, 724-652-7727, or toll-free from anywhere, 1-800-443-7726. It's Butts Flowers in downtown Newcastle. Ah, the land of Oz. Open from 10 to 6, Monday through Friday, right next to Subway downtown. You'll find stuff for the kids, teens, women, and men's fashions. Stunning accessories and casual wear. If you need something original or something traditional, you'll find it at the House of Oz. Next to Subway in downtown New The Beanery Depot and Deli. Coffee, made-to-order subs, snacks, and more. Meatball sandwiches, fresh and hot. Pepperoni rolls, fish sandwiches, chicken, milkshakes. The Beanery Deli. When you're hungry for something special, and it won't cost you a lot of beans. What's inside? Come on in and take a look at the menu. There's many barbecued delights. Ribs, chicken, and much more. Salads of every kind. Sides that'll tempt your appetite. And we have eat in or take out at Big J's Hurricane Grill. Maureen and Big J say everybody is welcome. Talk about convenient. Located just off the 422 Bypass on Center Avenue, Kaito's Restaurant, Catering, and Banquet Center is perfect for parties or business meetings. Spacious and contemporary, they feature large portions at low prices. Make Kaito's your choice. Call 724-535-3530. Germanie's Jewelers in downtown Newcastle since 1947 at 39 North Mercer Street has watches, giftware, and much more. Mariana Jewelry made in Israel. Rings, diamonds, pendants of every shape, color, and size. Troll Jewelry. Angelique Bracelets. It's Germanie. Hi, welcome on the show, 102 and 117 Mercer Street, where you'll find women's fashions, men's fashions, and that just right look for the holidays. All in a nutshell. Stop by. We have what you're looking for. Keep watching NCTV 45 for Cook in the Castle. You're going to love it. The Globe Leader, your hometown newspaper since 1880. Go to nwglobe.com to read fascinating articles. If you know someone who would enjoy this amazing publication as much as you do, why not give them a gift subscription? I am excited about getting this into the homes of as many people as possible. Please send their email address and we'll do the rest. Call 724-946-8098. That's the Globe Leader, your hometown newspaper since 1880. Hi, I'm Gary West for NCTV 45. This is another Newswatch Weekend Edition. 
for December 13th. Hope you're having a great weekend. We have lots of local news for you and some regional news as well. And we have sports and weather on the way with Angelo. The Lawrence County Commissioners approved a two-year bargaining agreement with Lawrence County government employees that are members of the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees Local 2902 on December 9th. You know that organization is AFSCME. It was a unanimous vote by the commissioners. The negotiations have been in progress for more than a year. The employees will receive no raise this year and a 2% raise next year. Newcastle City Council has approved and renewed a one-year contract for 2015 with Security Services of Butler to provide security at City Hall. The contract is set for one armed guard at the rate of $16.80 per hour. The guard will be in the building during business hours Monday through Friday. Beginning January 5th, you will now see what is called Hospitalis Physicians at Jamison Hospital in Newcastle. A hospitalist is a physician specialized in acute care who treats the hospitalized patients of colleague physicians. The hospitalist works only in a hospital setting. The objective is to partner the patient and primary care provider with the in-house hospitalist who then cares for the patient once the patient has been admitted. A hospitalist will reduce the need of physicians attending to patients in their office and then making morning and evening calls at the hospital. The hospitalist will be in addition to the ER doctor. We have more news coming up for you very soon. Stay with us. After these messages, we'll go to Angelo with a sports update. Stay with us. Town Newcastle at 210 East Washington Street. And whenever you watch Focus NC, my wardrobe is furnished by Main Street Clothiers and Custom Tailors. Ah, the land of Oz. Open from 10 to 6, Monday through Friday, right next to Subway downtown. You'll find stuff for the kids, teens, women, and men's fashions stunning accessories and casual wear if you need something original or something traditional you'll find it at the house of Oz next to Subway in downtown New Hi friends, I'm Gary West, and whether you find Augustine's Pizza at your local grocery store or at their restaurant in Newcastle, the folks at Augustine's Pizza hope that their pizza is always your first choice for any and all occasions. Joshua Sun Rehabilitation Center. From the moment you arrive, you know that you're in the right place. Dr. John Wrightson listens first. He pays attention to detail and then makes the determination. Joshua Sun Rehabilitation. We make the pain go away. Whether it's time to fix the furnace, throw the salt, shovel the drive, it's Paul D. Weller Hardware. We have what you need. Whether it's time to get warm, make the macaroni, make the ravioli, make the pizza, throw another log on the fire, or get ready for Christmas. It's Paul D. Weller Hardware. Hey, let's go sled run. Bill's Bake Shop will make you happy. Bill Cast is the owner, and he and his staff keep the tradition going with all those bakery items that you remember as a kid. Just to name a few items, Bill makes cream sticks, cinnamon rolls, bear claws, cream horns, cannoli, cakes, pies, cookies, bread, pizza, and so much more. Bill's Bake Shop, located at 228 North Liberty Street in the Mahoning Town section of Newcastle, is open Tuesday through Saturday, 7 to 5, and Sunday, 7 to 2, closed on Monday. Bills, where smiles are everywhere. Call 724-654-4223. Hello, sports fans, and welcome to NCTV 45 Sports. 
it's time to look at what's going on in college football. Well, the University of Pittsburgh football coach Paul Christ has been named the new coach for the University of Wisconsin, according to the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Christ, a Madison, Wisconsin native and former Wisconsin assistant coach, is ready to return to his alma mater. He will replace Gary Anderson. No, not Gary West, Gary Anderson. Chris is 49 years old, and he is in his third season at Pitt, and his overall record is 19-19. and 19. In Rome, they say he's mezzamez. Now, the Pittsburgh Steelers will be on the road to take on the Atlanta Falcons at the Georgia Dome. The Sunday game is scheduled for 1 p.m. kickoff. The Steelers are 8-5 and, and the Falcons are 5-8. and eight. In high school hoop action, the Newcastle Red Hurricanes play Beaver on the road. And you can see the score on our blog. The Canes will be home Tuesday the 16th against Central Valley. The Penguins were home last night playing the Calgar Calgary Flames. And you can see that school score also on our blog. The Pens will be on the road against the Columbus Blue Jackets tonight with a 7 p.m. faceoff. So that's going to do it for sports. And we're going to get back to Gary right after these messages. Join and save at Sam's Club. Receive up to a $25 gift card when you join or renew by December 31st. Certain exclusions apply. Simply bring this offer in to the member services desk of your local club to redeem your local club. Boardman, 6361 South Avenue, Boardman, Ohio. It's Sam's Club. Join and save. Let's talk with Norm. We're with Norm Lutton. Norm, you're the owner of Crazy Car Restoration. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Well, it's a new company we're opening up. Uh, originally, we was Lutton Auto Repair, and uh, we're adding on a little bit. And we're trying to bring out some uh, custom cars for people uh, somewhere in uh, between the five and $20,000 range, uh, what people can actually afford today. Uh, anymore, you know, all these cars are so expensive, we're just trying to make ends meet for other people. That sounds great now. Uh, but I've been fixing cars for over 35 years. That's great. So when you have a repair, big or small, call Norm. Weekend News Watch continues. For this December 13th, we have weather coming up shortly with Angelo staying right there. The Lawrence County Commissioners proposed a $20.3 million general fund budget with no property tax for 2015 for the county. Commissioners presented the preliminary budget at the regular meeting on December 9th, and final adoption is scheduled for their regular meeting on December 30th. The spending plan will be on display in the commissioner's office during business hours until the 30th of December. And it also may be viewed on the Lawrence County website at www.co.lawrence.pa.us. A verbal agreement has been reached on demolition of the old Mount Jackson School between the owner of the property and North Beaver Township. Paperwork is being prepared, and within a month or so, work is expected to begin. Property is located just north of the routes 108 and 317 intersection in Mount Jackson. The building is the former North Beaver Township Consolidated School and uh, Elementary School. Complaints residents have been coming in for many years. And a reminder for Shenango Township and Union Township residents, property taxes and per capita taxes must be paid by December 31st. Now, if you have a mortgage escrow and think you may have forwarded the 2015, or make that the 2014 per capita bill to the mortgage company, you must check to make sure it is paid. 
Any property tax that's not paid by December 31st will be filed with the Lawrence County Tax Claim Bureau. Any per capita tax not paid by year's end uh, will be filed with Berkheimer Tax Administrator. So what else? We've got one of for Newcastle and the whole Lawrence County area right after we take this time out. 2P Gifts and Thrifts Many Treasures now let's talk with one of the owners. Hi, this is NCTV45, and your name is? Paula Mandaglio. Paula, pleased to meet you. Can you tell us a little bit about Two Peas, Gifts and Thrifts? Absolutely. Our thrifts and gifts. We do high-end thrift items, personalized gifts, and repurposed furniture. Uh, we're going to catch up with Peggy. Sure. Is? Peggy Cousins. And can you tell us a little bit about thrifts and gifts? Two P. Uh, you have giftware. Uh huh. You're a, and I see the kids' clothes. Mm -hmm. You're a, a mini department store. Correct. Correct. There you yeah. go. Well, we something for everyone. Two P. Gifts and thrifts. Make it Lanigan's Irish Pub, where you'll be amazed with the weekly specials. Pub grub, salads, burgers, sandwiches, Irish specialties, and desserts. Lanigan's has a full bar featuring domestic, craft, and Irish draft beer. You can also book a party at Lanigan's at 126 East Washington Street in downtown Newcastle. As they say at Lanigan's Irish Pub, the best Irish food since Ireland. Call 724-657-3444. Well, hello there, and welcome to the weekend. If you're going to be out and about today, you're going to need a seasonable jacket because uh, it's got a little bit of wind and it's uh, kind of whipping around. We started out at around 32. We're going to climb to a mostly cloudy high of 37 today. And Saturday night, Expect a uh, mostly cloudy low around 32 again. Sunday, areas of drizzle before 2 p.m., mostly cloudy with a high of 42. And Sunday night, mostly cloudy with a low around 37. Monday, mostly cloudy, high near 50. So we're going to go back inside and talk with Gary and have a wrap up right after these messages. It's Little Johnny's Pizza 2 in downtown Newcastle with a great variety menu that you will tell everybody about. Chris Quiera, the owner is here with more information. Stop down and see us at Little Johnny's 2. We're located at 130 East Washington Street or give us a call at 724-657-2210. Whether it's a scheduled appointment or same-day service, DiCaprio Carpet Cleaning offers 24-7 service for commercial, industrial, and residential, as well as fire and water damage restoration. Using state-of-the-art technology, DiCaprio Carpet Cleaning experts are ready to professionally clean your carpet today. Call DiCaprio Carpet Cleaning for a free in-home estimate. Thank you for making us Lawrence and Mercer County's largest carpet cleaner. And remember, nobody gets your carpet cleaner. Weekend edition continues for this December 13th. Uh, Angelo is with me right now. And, uh, Ange, my goodness, it's it's the push to Christmas now. Yes, we're into that last full week with the kids in school. And then it's two days for a lot of people. And boom, it's here. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to talk talk about uh, the countdown of Kalamad here. Hey, you like that. In just a, <laughs> just a couple of seconds. But... Uh, First, I wanted to mention that the Union School Board gave final approval to purchase cameras and have them installed in all school buses in the Union School District. Uh, the district owns eight buses. Cost is going to be $2,000 per bus, and uh, most of the cost is going to be paid for by the Safe Schools Grant. That project should be completed about mid-January 2015, and letters are going to be sent to all the parents in the Union District to inform them of those cameras and it's all about child safety so I'm glad to see they're they're gonna do that yeah it's a good look 
So, but I'm my mind's on fish, and this week, Tony Pegley's going to talk about Christmas Eve, Italian style. How about that? And we we started off with smelts, and we worked our whole way through. And you're going to love Tony's smiling face <laughs> on the video. For those of you, this will be a real treat. Now, this is coming up on Cook in the Castle, right? That's coming up on Cook in the Castle. We're airing it like a special presentation or Newcastle Live. I'm not going to wear my Cook in the Castle garb. But we had Tony do a little skit at the beginning, so you're going to want to see that because uh, Tony on Broadway. <laughs> I was going to give him a Tony Award. <laughs> <laughs> that's... <laughs> That's Tony, the owner and operator of uh, Pagley's Restaurant on the east side of Newcastle. Yeah, they have delicious food there, that's for sure. Yes, and you know, a lot of times when I go there, I'm on a seafood diet. Here I it comes, here I it comes. I see food and I eat it. <laughs> yeah, that's a classic. <laughs> well, you, what, you, real quick before we wrap up here, tell everybody uh, some special Christmas programming on the way for not only NCTV 45, but also Comcast 183. Well, the Holly Jolly Holiday Tour wrap-up, some people have seen it, some people are going to see it on 183, so that's one thing that's out there. The, the next thing is the basketball game, because we do have the Newcastle Hampton game coming up. We have a Christmas special with some holiday music intertwined in the seven fishes and that'll move us right through the week not to mention when you tune in for Newswatch now a lot of people are going Friday I didn't see Angelo on Newswatch well there was an internet outage from 11 to 2 a.m. during that uh, Thursday night Friday morning and it stopped us just like most other TV stations get stopped from being on the air sometimes. Reasons beyond our control. <laughs> there you go. All right. And we dealt with it and moved on. And everything's back to normal. All right. Well, thanks for watching News Watch Weekend Edition. We give it to you every Saturday. And don't forget to tune in weekdays, Monday through Friday, with Angelo. He will give you News Watch daily. Ah, uh, that's it. Have a great rest of the weekend. I'm Gary West for NCTV 45. And I'm Angelo Parada. Have a great weekend, everybody. It's fall. Don't be a leaf.